Good morning. Good morning. Treasure. Silly girls. Uh-oh, my stream is slow. Y'all let me know on a sound check real quick. Anna, reception. Reception. Is it coming in good? Hey, Lee. It, yeah, I think my internet's freaking being slow. It doesn't even show anybody's here, and I see Lee's in the chat. Hmm, let's see what we need to do. Going to wait a few minutes just to let a few people pop in, but also, hey, Bobby, good morning. Miss you. Uh, is the reception coming in, y'all? Yeah, my... The video doesn't show that y'all are here. Hey, Jennifer. I straightened my hair yesterday. It's got fried stuff, but I think in my brown hair, I always have these little hairs, too. Um, Willis, you're all here? Okay. Well, it doesn't say y'all are here. Like, it doesn't show me that anybody's here. Hmm. We're going to have a glitch today. So it's not lagging or anything. I got some good stuff today, you guys. Nine people. Yeah, it doesn't say. Well, it doesn't say zero or anything. It's like it just doesn't show a number at all. Sorry, my. S Ooh, this is peppermint. I was looking for this. Good morning, Looney. Hadn't seen you. I haven't really been going live lately. I feel like I need better content, but I mean, I, I love these jewelry bags, so it's always fun trying to put out better content, but it's like terrible. I don't know how to edit. <laughs> hey, Stephanie, best friend in your thread. Looks good, your hair. You know, Treasure, I had just come to the realization. I'm going to use some Clary Sage real quick. I think I read if you put just a little bit of this. It's a doTERRA oil brand. It's pretty expensive. Um, but like on the back of your neck or something, it's supposed to be real good for you. So take a minute for a breather. Yeah, I missed the listing days also, but I'm going to try to accident accidentally signed up for the Amazon Pro account. I really just wanted like an Amazon seller account. And I didn't mean to hit the pro, so I'm paying $40 a month to try to sell on Amazon. And it's so much easier because you don't have to list or take a lot of the pictures. You just click like list and I want to send it all into Amazon. So I've been working on that. My mom needs to come back over and start listing all the clothes that I have. She's ready. I just haven't been out of the house for her to come over. Are y'all ready? You ready? been a grip you've been working too much excuse my messy coffee cup that's weird yeah it shows it doesn't tell me how many people are here but that's okay i see you in the chat stupid, stupid icloud thing wants me to log in on my mac and i really don't log into the cloud do y'all i don't use the cloud i wish it didn't exist except for storage. I need to work on my title and tags. You get discovered. Hmm. Oh, I was saying treasure that I, I've, I have had blonde hair so long now that I was always afraid to put heat on it. But now that I have it and I'm more comfortable with it and I'm, learning it's very hard to get straight and like pretty like this it doesn't look this good unless you put heat on it so and then when i had brown hair my brown hair is usually really wavy and it's like all frizzy so i had to come to realization to like a wake-up call or a realization yesterday that like heather you have got to straighten your hair if you want it to look good or you're gonna have to curl it because if I don't do either, it looks like a freaking horsehair rat's nest. Like it's a hot mess. And I've been 
rocking it that way because I didn't want to damage it. So it should be pretty healthy. So yeah. Now I was like, oh, if I just straighten it every couple days, maybe I'll still keep it blonde. I was thinking of going brunette soon, but whatever. Okay, I'm ready. I'll stop talking. Now that everybody's here, nobody has said that there's no lagging or anything. So, um, I got there 10 minutes before they opened. I almost didn't go. I didn't want to go because I kind of just, like I said, want to work on Amazon. But who can pass up sterling silver, right? Oh, hair. Looney Circus's wife owns a salon, so he knows all about the hair. <laughs> My hair is horse hair as well. Sarah tells people I use mane and tail. <laughs> I don't need no mane and tail because my hair grows pretty fast. I got some sterling here. Let's go over that first. Um, because I was 10 minutes there. There were people in their cars, but the ladies that get the, um, the bags, none of them were there. So I was like, yes, because I didn't go last week. So they should be pretty stocked up. So they stock a jewelry counter and then they have bags and the jewelry counter they kind of pick out some nice pieces but it's so crazy like they only cost 50 cents and a dollar for like necklaces or earrings and everything so here's one that i got um but it is marked six dollars um I'm not sure that they even charged me on that unless this is a different. Oh, here's the receipt. Actually, I purchased a couple times. Um, hmm. I'm supposed to have paid $6 for this, but I don't see it on my receipt. If it's on this other receipt. Anyways, it's probably on hopefully the pound, the bags receipt. Um, a fossil 100 meters watch. I think it's six bucks. I was like, yeah, I'll pay for that because my hubby needed a watch recently. And I was looking at the retail of watches. These usually cost 75 to 100 bucks. We ended up, um, he ended up getting an Apple watch. So, and I upgraded mine. I have to still sell my old one. But anyways, I don't see where that's on there. I don't see my... Uh, two jewelry bags receipt so maybe it's on there maybe it's in my car oh, sorry i gotta take a drink and that coffee's already getting cold you just straightened your hair and it's pouring oh it's cold here but it's not pouring it wants to snow I need to get to the junk shop to find some goodies soon. You've been slacking. Okay, so I got that watch. Total score. Not even sure if I paid a dollar for that. Oh, there's a $6 receipt. I don't know. Um, so I got that one. And then I don't know why I got this one, except for the fact that it's big and bulky. And it probably costs like 50 cents or a dollar. It is real leather. I don't know the maker. Be right back. Okay. You love you some 925 sterling silver. Yeah. I got rid of a lot of junk jewelry out of my own jewelry box now. Uh, after doing these bags and realizing the quality of stuff. So I got that. <clears throat> so this was just laying right in the jewelry counter. And I can see it from afar. Like anything that's sterling, I'm like, yep, that's sterling. I need to go grab that. Um, so I went and grabbed this one, and it is stamped, or wait, is it? Yeah, NF925. I have a magnet here, and it is not sticking. Looks like a older vintage -y piece. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, it's slanted a little. I think it's made that way. Let me put it on. I can get it on. So cute, right? I don't wear stuff like this. Um, hey, Rosie Crystal. Put all the silver in a pile. 
oh man, there were these earrings and I'm actually been looking for earrings cause I'm, um, Atlanta, Georgia. That's a telemarketer. You want to hear? Hello. No, Kelly. We don't need no Girl Scout cookies. Um, so these are like some gemstone earrings. I was like, awesome. They're sterling too. And they have like a, is Topaz baby blue? I'm guessing you guys. There's like a baby blue kind of stone and then a clear mossy stone. I think I learned that's mossy. But anyways, the earring backs and the Stuff is silver. Like, I could totally rock these. Yes. There's some other sterling earrings I got. They were either 50 cents or a dollar. The earrings or the bracelet, Looney. I just got the third degree from my tax, tax account about my receipts. Oh, well. What'd they say? So... The earring backs are stamped 925, and these are real sterling. They seem like a lower end sterling, but they are real sterling and they're vintagey. So those are cute. I could wear those too. I'm not really feeling these blue balls. However, blue balls, there's double blue balls on my earring. We went to eat at some hole in the wall restaurant, Chu Chai, I think. Um, it's been around forever. And, uh, I guess the sun was shining and my husband had, I barely put these on yesterday. These earrings, they're also sterling. I don't know what the balls are. Let me show you. But the sun shines on them and my husband was like, wow, those are glowing. Wow. What, what is that? Why are they glowing? I was like, I don't know. It's like a paint. They shine in the light. Um, I'm not sure I'm feeling the blue, right? Because it's not universal, but these black ones are really pretty. So I thought I would keep those if they don't resell. Or if, I don't know if I'll list them at all. I don't know which one I'll keep. I just need one pair. And I'll wear them for a couple months. So there's two other ladies at the jewelry counter. One of them I've never seen before. And she sets this aside and says, does anybody want a cheerleader, like whatever she said, necklace? And I look over and I see that it's sterling and I'm like, me? These are like 50 cents or a dollar. So this is stamped Italy, 925, and then S on the other side, stamped all over the chain, sterling, love it. And then I flipped it over. There's a sterling stamp and there's the Mexico, I think. Oh, the last bracelet. Yeah, she does. She wears those kind of thicker, chunky bracelets. So it's stamped. Oh, that's pretty good. Maybe. Like three different stamps there. So it's like so cute, right? Oh, that's long. Maybe. Let's see how long it is. I'm always interested in chains. Yeah, that's pretty long. Hmm. Love it. The chain alone is worth getting. A dollar? I'll take it. So this was interesting. To me, it looks like real gold. But just my luck, it probably won't be. More than likely, it's not real gold. But... I don't know, when I was a little girl, I was obsessed with lockets and I didn't really ever have any because I didn't never have really jewelry when I was little too much. It's kind of a tomboy. Um, this is a really cool locket pendant heart. I'm trying to figure out if that's initials or just swirls in the center. So whatever this was, it was either a dollar or 50 cents. I got a receipt for like $4. I made like three transactions. So, and I rounded up like almost all of them. Hey, Misha, Renee, that's my middle name, except it's not spelled like yours. 
Um, so this thing is adorable. I don't think it's going to be real gold. It's sticking. I don't even know how to test. I thought I saw someone say recently that maybe 14 karat gold on eBay, maybe that there's a way to tell, but I don't know. I'll have to research it. So they also handed me this one. Both the ladies there didn't want it. You guys taught me on YouTube. I think that this is a liquid sterling. And when I saw that it was sterling, I wanted it because again, this was either 50 cents or a dollar. It's got the Indian dream catcher. Catches dreams if you put it over like children's and babies' beds. It's a vintage piece. I still love lockets, right? Nobody wears them, but I always wanted one like the charm bracelet when I was a little girl. Pretty. Yeah, this one's cool too. Like, and it's so simple and delicate. Very cool. Sold. Now this one I could see under the counter on the bracelets and from a mile away I could see that it's sterling and it's old, like it needs to be cleaned. And my favorite part is the black, maybe onyx or whatever black stone that is. It's all over it, it's stamped, it's kind of dirty. It's got floral print on it, yeah, and some leaves. Very interesting piece. This one's Mexico. I wonder how you. Alpaca. I've seen that name before. There's Alpaca on the inside, and then there's some stamps right there. It's pretty dirty. The Chunky Silver. I sell those pieces for cheap, Looney, like super cheap. Well, see, these earrings are stamped 925, but they totally don't look like they're silver. Um, but I guess they are. Um, and I had to get them because I thought that the blue was absolutely stunning. I don't know if those are a gemstone or not. But so I'm picking this one up and I get the match. And then there's another pair that's identical. So I was like, okay, 50 cents for some sterling earrings that are absolutely stunning. I would wear these because um, they're not too, too big and they're sterling, apparently. So that's all uh, for that. Sterling, I'm not even done. I'm almost done, though. This is stuff that I handpicked out that I wanted to buy. Um, these are not in a jewelry bag, so those are coming up. So it's like I could start a whole new video, right, just for the bags. But this is, like, stuff I handpicked. So I think this is, like, brass or copper. Copper, maybe. Um, but it's also stamped everywhere, and it's a cat. Oh, message you on Instagram. Okay, I will. Looks like there's maybe turquoise eyes in there. And I'm going to read to you what I can see on the stamping. T35. It's a Mexico tex Texaco, maybe? thought somebody said um, that that one was worth more. What was his name? Where is he? And it's got writing everywhere. You can't really read it, but Puerta Acera, something like that. And Cosila or Casila, something, I don't know. I'll show you all the back. Woo! Look at all those writings. Yeah, I was like, I will take that probably for 50 cents also brooch pin so cool um okay these are the last two pieces that i got these are interesting these are glass i saw this one and thought maybe it was a gemstone or kind of looks like a bakelite sort of from far away but it's glass 
And then beside it was a black one and it needs to be cleaned. It's got some sticky stuff on it. I don't know what these are. This one kind of looks like hematite, sort of. Um, they're super cool. I have to look those up. Okay, last one on that, sorry, is a really cool necklace. These are glass here, and I think the necklaces are a dollar. Um, this one says Saved by Grace. These little connectors look like sterlings, so that's why I grabbed it and picked it up. But after holding it, it just seems quality made. I looked on the necklace clasp. It looks like Brighton kind of, but it's not, and I don't know who makes it. So that's a huge bummer. I really wished I knew who made this because it would help me to sell it. Huge, chunky piece. This one is a risk. Um, it may sit for a while. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Save by Grace. Cute little key, right? Okay, that's all for that. Let's get into a bag. Where's my exacto knife? <clears throat> well, I usually pay the fees to uh, Looney because I am a reseller and I got to pay my taxes. Well, let me get some coffee right there before it turns off. Even though your girl don't need no more coffee. <laughs> oh, damn it. I just got the table wet and it's paper. Tooth test. Yeah. I always got to do the tooth test. Sorry. I'm trying to pull my shirt down here. That's weird. My uh, viewer count is glitched out, but whatever. At least it won't be a distraction to me. Okay. Y'all ready? Oh, I feel like it's so overwhelming and stressful whenever you get all this laid out. Because after the video, I have to like put it all out. Put it up. You have 30 pounds of jewelry coming Monday. From where? 12 people, Treasure? Thank you. My, yeah, I don't know why my internet's not working. Showing it. All right, I got two bags. I'm going to go really quick through this, you guys. I have learned my lesson that I really enjoy selling junk jewelry bags. When I say junk jewelry, a lot of it's craft junk and stuff. Or it's good pieces, but I'm passing it along into the junk jewelry bags for someone else to resell it. I just want the silver and the gold. Um, of course, like I put in the listings, sometimes I miss a piece or two. Um, so that's okay. It happens. Um, I did get my first negative feedback on eBay uh, like two days ago. The lady claims that there was hair in it. And I always grab a trash can during the videos and throw away all the hair that I can get out because I know that's gross. I throw away all the trash. I usually send in good stuff, but y'all may have known like through my other videos, I started getting those bags from the boutique and they were all junk and I listed them on eBay and maybe they're upset because the bag had a bunch of junk. Well, that's the boutique's fault, not mine. Um, but it's very odd because the eBay review for the negative states, there's a cat claw. I go through all my bags and I've never seen a cat claw. Like, what does that even mean? And someone had recommended maybe I reach out to that person. I'm not going to. I'm going to move on and I'm not going to stoop down to their level. It clearly says junk in the title. Like, that person never messaged me at all to try to even get a discount or anything. They left me a review stating there was hair in the bag and, um, again, cat claw. Whatever. I don't care. Nobody's perfect and you can't be. So <laughs> it's a risk you take when you sell junk jewelry bags. 
One of them said, uh, she, she said she wasn't going to leave me a review at all, and she didn't. She said, because it wasn't worth it. And I said, well, it says in the title that it's junk, ju junk jewelry craft bag. And she said, the last response I think she said was, well, you shouldn't put craft bag in the listing if it's not for crafts. They're beads. I don't know what kind of crafts you're doing, lady. I ha I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it's part of being a, a seller, right? You're always going to have somebody. So, but, I mean, they don't even ask for a refund or anything. Like, I don't know. Yeah, the eBay customers are tough, and that's why I would love to work on Amazon. I have cried, I literally, I have cried over eBay because I had so many problems and and I hate, it's just frustrating. Whatever. A lot of stress, like, I don't have that stress on Poshmark, ever. eBay lets all these people bid on my stuff and then half of them never pay, like, why does eBay allow people to even bid if they don't have, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, we need a junk jewelry bag, and I actually already have one started. Where is it? Oh, I know it's here somewhere. No. Well, we have to start another one. I'm not sure where I put it. Yeah, we'll just start another one. Where are my Adidas? Okay. Did you all hear about the kids that found a poop in there? Oh, no, I didn't. That's really sad. No, I did not. Okay, let me pull out some of the stuff here. This is cool because this is BCB generation, but what is it? A bracelet or a watch? It's a neon orange watch band. Okay, so these keep coming back to haunt me. They're like these little ceramic rocks. I really wished I knew what they were. I think they're not worth anything, but they're really nice, good quality, and I wished I knew what they were. If anybody knows, please let us know in the chat or the Dropbox after the video's uploaded. Oh, look at that big old rock. Whoa, look at that gemstone, my favorite. Who is it? Avenue? Is that like a J.C. Penney's brand or something? Avenue? That's a real rock right there, you guys. Ooh, look. It's got a centerpiece and a drop down here. That's a score. Right there, I feel like this necklace is not broke. This piece here alone is probably worth the 25 bucks. It's definitely cold. It's a genuine, real rock as well as maybe that too these are cute you guys some of these what are they like brass right i think um some of these do sell if you lot them up hammered very cute i'm just gonna junk jewelry these they're matching earrings Looks like Stephanie would like those. Um, oh, wow. These are, wow. Another gemstone necklace. Hold on. It's breaking and it's going to cut me. Hold on. Gemstone. I see. Um, 
Oh, I wonder if this is, yay. I was hoping this would be in here. Um, I think I saw this in the store, but I thought it was in a box and it had a actual pink quartz heart that was in the box. So this, I've seen this, yeah. It's a pink quartz. Can y'all see the pink in that? I feel like my light is too close and it's washing out. It is dark. It's a mall brand. That's what I thought, Crystal. Treasure, really? You already know where. <laughs> In your video, it was funny, I think. Anyways, this is cool. It seems like a cheaper quartz necklace made. Oh, wait, there's a stamp. Who is it? It's 925GSJCN. I have to look it up. I have to look it up. Too bad that's not sterling. Oh, yay. I really like these. I have a whole bag. Oh, I saw that one. It's dented up. Okay. I'll uh, probably jump jewelry this one. Oh, there it is. Yep, they took it out of the box. I guess not to take up room in the jewelry bag. So here's the butterfly, but I believe there's one more that goes with this piece. I think it was a quartz. Okay, we're gonna set the bag aside. We got a lot of, are these Jasper? Maybe, they don't look dyed. Veiny red, uh oh, glass balls, glass balls, always in dumpsters. I'm not trying to poop where I work. <laughs> I know it. A minute, take out this bag. Okay, I love your nanny. You got like the best nanny ever. My nanny lives like six or eight hours away from me. I don't ever get to see her. Okay, let's get started here. We have a watch. I'm not saving any more lots anymore. I'm just bundling up all jewelry bags from now on. Uh, to get rid of it quicker. I've got some people trying to buy my sterling and I can't even get to it yet. So, uh, what is this? Oh, it's like a watch or bracelet. Um, it's probably a cheap turquoise, possibly. Mm -hmm. This had $2 on it. Right there. It looks like maybe Goodwill tagged it. I don't know. Hello, by contest. Like, is that aluminum? I'm not sure. No, I don't sell on Etsy. Like, I never could get into it. And then I am not paying per listing. Like, you have to pay like 10 cents listing. I know that's not a lot. Oh, it's so pretty, but it's plastic junk jewelry. Yeah, eBay is just a huge marketplace and then Poshmark has grown a lot. So those two softwares keep me very busy and they both need improvement. So always they need uh, constant attention. So I don't even need Etsy, to be honest, especially after starting Amazon recently. Um, here's a broke necklace with glass faceted little beads. We have my birthstone peridot, a frog. Oh, it's a lily pad. Too bad. I don't have the patience to list this little stuff on eBay or anything. Oh, it's got a uh, maker's mark, R.A. 
RA. I don't know who RA is, but that is super cute. It is missing a stone. I think that might be where I start. I live in vintage. Oh, you live in vintage? Yeah. If you do have tons of vintage, then um, I would start there because I hear that Etsy is really big on vintage. The Masters University. Glitter bracelets. And I've seen this silly watch before. It's Santa Claus. Not sure if it got recycled back into... No, I think I sold mine on eBay. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, see, yeah, I don't do Mercari either. I don't have time. These are plastic beads. It's a charm bracelet. Really cute, but I'm going to chunk it. <clears throat> Hey, there's Dawn. Good morning. Some gold tone bracelets. Um, this is really pretty, but I literally took time out of my day to list like five of these bad boys, not five of them, like three in a bundle and I haven't sold any on Poshmark and I did like five listings and they were all for under 25 bucks, you guys. This thing is adorable. Um, but it's going to go in the junk jewelry. Like look how cute that is. However, I've grown more and more anti like gold tone because when you wear that stuff like your finger turns green i feel like you're putting toxins in your body like it's just not cool probably causes you some stress muscle tension or something i don't know i'm anti like crap i guess so this one's cute too. Look at it. Perfect for prom. Oh yeah, Etsy is, uh, oh, Mercari? Yeah, it's okay. I hear good things about it. I just don't think that Mercari will ever compete with Etsy, Poshmark, or like Amazon and eBay. So I try to stick to the big ones. Um, these are CB, but most of it's plastic, and the CBs are glass. Passing it along. I gotta go quick through all this. Vivani, a silver and gold tone watch. There's that DNA hair. Um, but yeah, there's the silver tone claspy bracelet it's not real turquoise either i can just tell because i've been around a lot of turquoise my mommy wears it it's one of my mom's favorite stones all her rings and her bracelets would always be turquoise i don't think she would wear necklaces or earrings as much but her rings and her bracelets What's up, Dawn? Not a lot of, I do need to do my, what is it, ninth day challenge? People on Mercari ask for free shipping. Yeah, I don't get on Mercari either. I don't got time. I'm over here messing with this jewelry. Ew, this is, the silver is coming off really bad, probably rusted even. It's got some adorable pearls, plastic Mardi Gras necklace. Woo -woo -woo. I did Zumba yesterday, you guys, and oh man, I was terrible. I had, well, okay. I was trying to go to a Pilates yoga class 
and I drive up to my gym that's by my house and it's closed because they're under new ownership and I guess they're remodeling. Um, so I had to go to another location and they didn't have yoga. They had Zumba. Uh, I don't get it. These are not silver. I'm going to chunk these. I don't know what those are. Funky looking earrings. I think they're stainless steel or something. They didn't stick though. You feel like you're working on four hours of sleep. <clears throat> We're going to see the new Lego movie later. That's really all my plans for today. Oh my goodness, cowgirl. Don, are you into this stuff? Are you into cowboys, Don? Or not? I don't know. Look at that pendant you got. Oh, it's one of those magnetic ones. I bet there's a brand for this. Do y'all know? I seem to find these a lot. The magnetic to where you can just change it. Oh, look, I can hang it right there. Right there. I like the way you move right there. Oh, I see a sterling, sterling chain, right? Oh, this is cute. That's heavy, too. Tourist jewelry. You haven't heard? <laughs> she answers Mercari, but I don't know if she heard about my cowboy question yet. <laughs> oh, that is sterling. I can see sterling from a mile away. But this one's special. It's different. Um, it's got, I don't know. I don't know if it was broke and they added this or what. So it's got this kind of double claw. Some people really love Mercari Looney, but I mean, oh, this is stamped like 50 or something or SC, South Carolina. No, I'm joking. It's got a SC mark, maker's mark. So I've never seen a necklace with a clasp like that. Maybe the initials SC can help me. Um, I just always say to stick to the biggest platforms ever. eBay has all your buyers you could ever need, as well as, I mean, Poshmark is like huge on women. So if you're selling women things, um, my shirts are all rolling up, y'all. Trying this new shirt out here. Um, but not much. Yeah, my Poshmark's been real slow. It's been like dead over there, but haven't been on it. So we got chandelier matching earrings to that adorable little set. Here's some more of that liquid silver I think y'all taught me. Um, here's a cute, I bet some of this is sterling. We got red coral that does not look like it's dyed. We got probably more than 100% likely that's a real turquoise bead right there. Oh, those uh, little tubes are sticking. Maybe they're not sterling. Still adorable, look at it, it's so tiny. It would fit my tiny little wrist. Oh, sorry, Christmas bill. This lady commented on my video. Here's a, another piece to that watch. It's broken, or it was a thing. A lady commented on my video. I guess it was slow lagging from the internet. It's like an hour and a half video. And she commented and she said, this video is rubbish. <laughs> I was like, what? And so I commented back to her and I said, well, make one. Can you make one better than mine? <laughs> and she commented back like something about, well, you shouldn't be offensive or something. Um, it's lagging or something. And I said, oh, okay. It's probably the internet. Like, 
like, there's nothing I can do about that. But if you click through some of it, it's not laggy and then some of it is. So I'm like, I don't know, do I need to delete the video or not? Some of it comes in clear. Magnet. So this is a um, big time like copper showing. It's just a charm heart necklace. Junk jewelry. I don't need it. I don't want it. Oh, it's a cute little shell earring. You're intimidated. Um, oh, Misha, you're doing the vintage stuff, right? Misha, I would do Etsy. These are plastic, not broke. Should be a good jewelry bag to auction off. Oh, what are these? This is cool. What is that? It's kind of like my earrings, but not as shiny. Oh, there's the other one. They look pretty vintagey. Bubble, 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 pop! More like Keeping Piles of Licensed Plush. Uh, that would be eBay, Looney. And actually, in your case, God, that would be so much fun, Looney. You would do awesome on Amazon. I've seen all your stuff. So this, I've been waiting to show y'all. It's really heavy. Yeah, they're not real pearls. They're real good quality beads, though. Um, but we have a gemstone rock hanging down here with like jasper looking purple green mossy colors. Really cool. Look at the other side. It's wrapped in the filigree. Who? What a biot. Who? I need to put on the live chat, huh? <laughs> You know, nerd stuff. Who are you talking about, Dawn? <laughs> this thing is really nicely made. It's probably vintage. Okay, I've seen these. I might have one or two. It's that brassy. Color. Okay. Uh, here's the matching earring to that plastic chandelier stuff. Okay. An enamel chevron bracelet. I see these all the time. Bracelet copper. Okay. See, we got a little tangle here. Ooh, that's gross. These look like poop balls, like molded clay wannabe turquoise, or what do you call it? Faux turquoise. They're like, they look like poop balls. <laughs> Oreo cake balls. So gross. Maybe they're, yeah, they're like mixed with plastic beads. Okay, so, oh, I don't like to itch my face. This is a layered tangled necklace. It's gold tone showing pretty good. Oh, I see another sterling chain. What's this one for? 925. Not the greatest quality, but it's still sterling. That's, I guess, okay. Stamped. Oh, I was like, what? Did I miss something? Uh, here's a dangly earring. I was like, did I miss something in the chat? Like, I don't see 
I'm like, am I? I wasn't on live chat. I was on top chat. I was like, what? I forget what I'm talking about, especially when the chat pops up like five minutes later. <laughs> um. Okay. Here's some more red coral and real turquoise beads with sterling silver clasps. I think these are. Oh, you made an Oreo pie. <laughs> Yummy. You love those chain earrings? Really? Even if they're not real silver? They are kind of cute. They're like edgy, sexy, cool, the chain. I've seen a couple of them that are pretty. Um, oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's probably got a gemstone right here, this blue shut thing. But it's like somebody handmade this bracelet. I'm going to go ahead and chunk it. It's pretty dirty. Girl, yes, she said. Yeah, I've come across a couple pieces that are really pretty. Okay, we're going to get rid of this junk. I want to see what's left. So, let's see. This is cheaper. It's got strings hanging out. I like to stick to name brand. That's broke. This is a broke earring, smashed. I'm gonna put this with my glass beads. I think I have a couple of these. Like, Vene are they called Venetian or something? Oh look, there's the other heart, the rose quartz. <clears throat> oh, look, this has a $39 price. T. Franco designs. Only reason why I like it is because they're all glass beads and they look like they're real quartz too, buddy. See the discoloration on this rock? This is a good way to tell like if it's a real rock and not glass. See this discoloration in the rock. There's some other ways to um, like some things like you don't want to see all the way through it. Like it's smoky quartz or whatever. Um, I mean like this. Clearly it's a rock. So you got the clear one though. It also shows you it's a real rock and it's not glass. So that's good. Real good. Um, unfortunately it is broke. Not sure what this is. Plastic back. So, who knows? We'll look it up and see. I don't know. Plastic. What y'all talking about over there? You're going to take off. I'm installing rollouts in a kitchen cabinet and putting in crown molding. Nice. Oh, I like punk rock too. I like Moonstone. Yeah, it's beautiful. You're going to listen while I take a shower. I totally been doing that lately, Dawn. I'll be taking a shower and I'll play YouTube videos. No lie. And the whole time I'm thinking, my iPhone is recording me naked the whole time. <laughs> like, you can't just put a little sticker over the camera, can you? Okay, we got a red football necklace. It's new with tags. That's actually our like elementary and high school logo I think okay I got a wire fish wire I really want to go to the lake I'm like fiending so bad <sighs> just want to go to the water bye Looney have a good day good luck on your install my husband does cabinets and crown molding for a living Um, this is a, what is this? Some kind of suede plasticky bead necklace. Junk jewelry! Um, uh, dangle earring, plastic. I don't want no plastic! These are kind of, yeah, basic. Uh, enamel, really cheaper, plasticky. 
Silver, definitely not real silver at all. I don't know if my words didn't come out very good on that. Ooh, we got something cool here. Let's look. Maybe. It's not that cool, but it's okay. I'm by Lake Texoma. I'm not by any special lake. Uh, it's a man-made lake, but I sure do miss it. It's about 15 minutes away, 20, 20 minutes, I think, from my house. Just throwing, oh, these are cute, except they're broke. Ooh, ooh, clubbing. I like it. Someone can fix those. Oh, it's a broken earring, I think. I don't think it's broke. Looks like it's. What? Awkward in Dawn's middle name? I don't get it. I'm lost. Awkward at Dawn. It's not awkward. I do it all the time. Okay, we got three different necklaces that are going in the junk jewelry bag. Plastic beads on all of them. Except for the seed bead, of course. Same here. Keenan's cabinet family business. Yeah. My hubby owns his own business. My watch is typing everything I was saying. That's not creepy. Okay, this is all junk. I don't know why we're taking so long. This seems like a gemstone. It's brown and it's ugly. It's glass. I'm going to chunk it. Silver tone. These. These are like a blue tiger's eye, but the stones are missing. Junk jewelry. Chevron zigzag enamel. Funny. Yeah, he, uh, my hubby does some really, really nice cabinet work. Some of the most expensive houses in town. Definitely not the lower end quality, which he can do fast work too, but does that good quality work. Plastic right there, buddy. All right, so all this is junk jewelry. I will show you. Got all these little, um, these look like real little pearls. They're like, what color are they? Purplish. They would look like real freshwater pearls or some, something. But I'm going to chunk them. They're adorable little charms. We got little turquoise ones that are already ready to go on a charm or something. Um, this is a Christmas pendant with enamel. It has no maker's mark, so I'm not interested in it. And I'm really behind on getting my pendants listed. So I'm just gonna pass it along to someone else. Lots of little freshwater pearl charms. They are not connected on sterling, I don't think. Maybe. That one's a good one. Glass. All right. Check it out. Oh, we all need to get new cabinets, Misha. I have, like, the oldest cabinets ever, and the paint is chipping off really bad. It's like my hubby wants to replace them when we move out. So, like, I never get to enjoy the feeling of having new cabinets. But I can't complain. I've lived in way worse. <clears throat> You're switching to glass from regular wood. Ouch, that's hard to clean glass. Good luck. Plastic bangle. It's pretty nice, but I'm passing it along. Okay, I have no idea what this stone is. I'm gonna pass this BCDG. And then this necklace is really heavy. I need to look into this what this one's made of. It's not wood. It's like a clay or something. I don't know, not clay, but it's got even holes in it. Kind of like the lava rock, but it's not. These always interest me. 
a lot, especially the white ones. Okay, sorry, we're really not done here. Um, I think this is just a silver tone. Let's see. It doesn't stick. Looks like a cheaper silver if it is real silver. I don't know, I'll have to test it or something. Ouch. Those are always so pretty, but I never wear them. Um, we have just a bunch of little beads oh, down in here. You guys, we didn't find anything silver. Oh, look, I have the other match to this. I had one of these recently. That's interesting. Okay. Um, these matching black earrings, they don't have a maker's mark. They're junk. Yeah, lots of little beads. I'm just going to go ahead and pour all of the jasper or whatever those beads are. These ones in here. Lots more pearls. Y'all ready to open a second bag? I'm not going to start a new video or anything. I'm just going to try to get this out of the way. My hands don't seem too dirty yet. Here's the second one. We have a cottage type house on five acres. Wow. So I'm always doing stuff to brighten it up. We're hippie style. Oh, my ears itching and I got an exacto knife up to my head. Did I cut into the bag? No. I'm trying to read Misha's comments. It sounds so interesting, but I want to open the bag too, and I can't do both at the same time. Oh, you're high end also, Looney. Yeah. Yeah, he's my hubby's really nice high end. <sighs> oh, I need to do my minimalism challenge today. Oh, it's on Facebook. You can go look at it. It's um right here. I'll show you, Looney. It's West Texas Woodworks. So just type in Texas, but let me show you. I actually created my husband a business page and I'm the like owner of it. So this, my husband doesn't have a Facebook page. So here's his page right here. If you want to go look at it, go hit the, not subscribe, but the like button, you know? If you have a business channel, or a business page on your Facebook. I'll go check yours out too. Your wifey's hair salon or your cabinet shop. Man, will we find any James Avery today? Look at this cute ear. What is that? Oh, it's just a butterfly. I don't know. Somebody handmade it. You're in North Texas. Where's that? I don't know. I was asleep in history class. Seriously. Okay, I'm going to show y'all pulling out the bag. More of those freaking Chevron bracelets. They're in like every bag. Who even sells those? Because they sold a buttload of them. Here they are again. These are cute. They're not sterling though. Really cute. Shand would you yeah, like chandelier drop earrings. Those are cute, cute. They're not sterling though. Let me show y'all the back. If anybody cares. Fake turquoise. It's not real turquoise. More than likely. Oh, yay! Look, there's paper! Paper! I get so excited about these only because I've done research on these and some of these bad boys sell for a lot of money. Or, if not a lot, it sells for good money. I've never listed any before. Wait. Yeah, these are like handmade out of paper or something. 
some of these that are really old, be careful. So these are really cool. I don't know if they're worthless, but some of them are not. Might check that for real crystal, right? Ooh, I smell perfume. Gross. Ooh, look, it's a broken ring. It's sterling, though. My first ever sterling silver ring. It's got a na 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 na. Oh, yeah, okay. 925. I wonder what it had on it. Ooh. Let's see. So this is about, oh, wow. Man, that would be perfect. It's probably like a five and a half or a six or something. I have a ring measure. Um, I absolutely love how thick this is, except you can barely even bend your finger because it's so wide. Hmm. Really cool. So, oh, they left me a negative review on it and they said rubber band bracelets, but there's basically rubber band bracelets in every single bag that I sell. Oh, look, some more. Of that it's glass junk jewelry <clears throat> sorry I'm digging at the bottom of the bag all these tiny little pearl earrings Checking. I don't think there's any maker's mark, but I'll look at these later. Okay. What do we got here in the comments? I couldn't read. Okay. We have a cottage type house on five acres. So I'm always doing stuff to brighten it up. We're hippie style. All the colors. My mom's hubby did marbled glass at their house. So I'm begging him to do ours. Oh, yeah, you get an extra day off done. Oh, you have an actual website. We don't have an actual website. I can't get away from those paw prints. Um... 45 minutes to Dallas. Well, there's a Austin, Texas reseller meetup every year in June. If you want to go, Misha, the green room meetup. I go to that in Austin. Um, my uncle won't serve his, but he's old school. 45, wow. Okay, so we got a chunky bracelet here. The copper's showing through on some parts, but... It's a really nice bracelet. That'll help weigh up a five pound bag, so that's good. That scared me. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we got a bangle bracelet with missing rhinestones. Well, that's a bummer. I was gonna go subscribe, yo. Page. Ooh, this watch is heavy. Swiss something. These bands are really nice. I think some of these are worth good money. So here's another men's watch. Here's a Iron Man triathlon digital one that needs a new battery. I'm going to look at those watches later. Okay, so we have a necklace here. Yeah. That's going in the junk jewelry bag. Two of them. This is really pretty and it's enamel, but I'm going to get rid of it. Just pass it along. Hopefully get a good eBay review, right? Oh, aren't these cute? I probably shouldn't put it in my hair, but I'm not really scared. You twist these into your hair. 
like prom day or something. They came out when I was like in junior high. Used to be really popular. Got a tangled rhinestone bracelet. Junk jewelry bag. Okay. That earring is stuck in there. Getting rid of all of these. Junk jewelry. Okay. This is sterling silver and it is freaking amazing. Like, look at that ruby red stone. I'll show you all in just a second. Um, these are all junk jewelry. Oh, the earring just randomly falls out. Yes, West Texas Woodworks. I'll show you the picture one more time. Are you looking? Are you looking? Um, here. Yeah, West Texas Woodworks. Oh, that's cool. It's a Brighton wrap bracelet. Cool. Never even seen these. It's real leather. Uh, looks like it's missing a rhinestone. I'll have to look up these. It'll be easy to find the comps on this on eBay. Um, so that's cool. What? I guess somebody made that for their kids. So there's Ariel. Plastic bead vintage necklace. Oh, that's nice. Okay, why did this? Yeah, this is stamped 925 cubic or something. You know, this flower looks like a brand. Can anybody help me on this one? This one might be a really good piece. Hmm. There's rhinestones on that key, and this is sterling, so this is a score right here. Our first one in the ring. We got that one. And then this ruby. Wow, that's like a blood red. It's 925 stamped earring. I love it. Let me see if I can see right through that red when I hold it up to the window. Or... Well, I know y'all already saw it, but I just love to show off gemstones so much. So pretty. Ooh. Ooh. That's vintage if I ever saw it. Look at that earring. Brighton. Mm hmm Yes. There's a Brighton wrap um, bracelet, leather. But, I mean, it does have some wear. Like, this is the outside of the clasp, and it's pretty scratched up, so. And then with it missing a stone, it's definitely decreasing the value also. Another butterfly. Matching enamel green butterfly earrings. This is like a tattoo on my shoulder. I have a green butterfly. I need to go and add color one day. Rather not the toxin more lead, right? So we got two earrings. We got a baby blue and a black onyx stone. Look at that later. Um, two dangle earrings, junk jewelry. So here's a paw print charm bracelet in red. This one. Oh, it's stretchy. Junk jewelry. Oh, look, there's the match to that little blue earring. It's not gold, though, you guys. The back is silver and the earring is gold. So maybe the stone's the only thing real about it. There's another poop ball. Chunky ball. <laughs> uh, here's that money sign again. It's not real money. Half penny. That doesn't even exist, does it? Bibs on the paws. Are you serious? 
Oh, look, here's the purple match earring. This one's also not gold either. Bummer. Turquoise zebra earring. Those look like maybe real turquoise. Uh, really nice pendant. It looks like enamel. Tulia, Texas. No, Lubbock, Texas. Do you find one in Tulia? I'll send you a picture, Looney. If you don't find it. Oh, look at the little monkey earring. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, this is a $20 price tag on it, and it's like a belt, belt or a necklace. I bet this is a belt. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Junk jewelry charm. This is cool. It's probably hand-painted wood bead. Really nice. Oh, what is this one? Interesting. I love looking this stuff up. Wakami. Oh. This is more than likely a wrap bracelet. And I have two of them. Wakami. This is my favorite part is when I don't know who it is and I look it up and then it's worth like 75 bucks. Those probably aren't, but it's happened. CB. Here's our college locally. This is like a bracelet or a headband, hair tie, whatever. We're five hours away. Big old Texas. Really? See, and I've never been to your lake, Misha. And I always tell my hubby, like, I always want to go visit new lakes we've never been to. Look at this old pendant. Oh, this is so fun, you guys. It is super filigree. Vintage pendant. I don't see any maker's mark, but it's super old. It's not sticking. It has a tendency to look like sterling silver, but I'm, wow. This would really need to be tested. This possibly could be real. Oh, is it broke? Part of the leaf is broke right there. Oh my gosh. I think it's broke in a spot, but that's okay. Here's a quartz watch, junk jewelry. So I had found uh, hoop earrings like this, and lo and behold, they were stamped James Avery. I finally listed them on eBay um, for $65, probably free shipping maybe, I can't remember, and I got a bid. So one lady has a similar pair of earrings listed for $110. So if my $65 earrings bid up to $100, that would be like, wow! Leah Sophia. It's a silver toned bracelet. I don't think Leah Sophia sells for a lot, but. Hey, Casey Lakeman, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good, how are you? This is an interesting piece. These are all glass and they appear to be, yeah, like gemstones. Shove it all up in your mouth. I think I have matching earrings to this. I think that's a particular stone. That's freaking plastic, Heather. The ones I have are not plastic. But um, some of these are definitely real gemstones. These are glass. Hmm. Ooh, this is nice. Red beads. You're not freezing today. These are pretty and heavy. What is the high today? Whoa, I opened it and it said 17, but it loaded and it says it's 37 degrees right now. 
and the high today is only 39. So this is cool. We got some silver glass rocks. I don't know if these would be considered glass or a gemstone. Yeah, these are glass also. And this is the culprit that has all the perfume on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Another butterfly. This is what we got left, you guys. You ready? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. Okay, earring. Oh, I'm trying not to touch my hair. Mm, little girl necklace, maybe? Maybe. Aww. Aww. Again, this is our college, local college. Silver toned necklace. We have another little gemstone earring. 29 degrees, but it was nine last week. Wow. No, thank you. There's my birthstone, peridot. Similar. Oh, what's up with the butterflies? So, butterflies. Oh, wow. Y'all remember when these were, like, popular? I think I have the other one to that, do I? Maybe not. Tahari earring. Two earrings, junk jewelry. Uh, doo -doo -doo, clip on earring. Well, it's pierced earring. Another butterfly. I'm going to throw that one away. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in here. Let's look. Let's see, that's the match to that earring. One was broke. This is the match to that clip on pierced earring. Some of these are silver. That one I don't think is. Cool, I finally have another jewelry bag to list on eBay. I don't have any, so this is fun. Uh, I can definitely um, come up with a 10 pound bag to list after this bag today. Um, a really nice clasp. It's not like stainless steel, though. It's not stealing, is it? No, it can't be. It's like a really nice metal. But it's not sterling. I'm going to chunk it. <clears throat> Another little rhinestone earring. This one's clear. Ooh, there's a horse earring with o Oto and then Sterling. That's cool. It's an actual riding horse, whatever I want to say. A real horse. <laughs> Do we find the other horsey? Oh, look, there's that big earring. I knew I had the match. Okay. Um, shell necklace, seed bead, <sighs> Lily and Laura on these seed bead bracelets. I don't know who that is. Should probably look it up, but I don't. Anybody know what this glass is called? Is it just a like a blown glass where the paint is on the inside? I'm not sure what they call that. Here we have a guest bracelet. That's cool. Does it open? I might look up and see how much guest bracelets sell for. But there's a chunky chain one. Okay, so here's a filigree, adorable flower necklace, chunk jewelry. Chunk jewelry. 
um, a gray and yellow statement necklace, junk jewelry. Okay, another one. Luckily, these are coming right off. This one's NY. It always reminds me of New York and Company. Sorry, I didn't mean to slam that. Junk jewelry. Ooh, what's that? So this comes off as being sterling. Oh, wow. This is heavy and unique. Look at this earring. Looks like it's sterling, but there's no marks. But I think it is sterling, you guys. It's got glass beads on it, too. Like, really nice glass beads. Yay, there's the other vintage earring that swivels. Is my chat frozen, or y'all being really quiet? We're almost getting done here. I'm kind of freaking out that my chat's frozen. Oh, there she is. There's Misha. Junk jewelry necklace. There's a match to an earring I already threw in there. Taste the rainbow. I'm on a rainbow kick lately. I don't know what is up with that. Oh, look, here's a cuff link. Is it a toe ring or an ear cuff link? It is stamped 925 on the inside. So it is kind of nicer. Not too bad. Man, you guys, they really picked through this bag. Like, everything in here, they definitely did go through it. And they were like, yeah, we're shorthanded. We're kind of just shoving it all in there. But, I don't know, I still feel like this bag was picked through pretty good. Um, so here's some more of the copper. These are really nice. Or copper, wait, brassy? Brass. I like those. Not for myself, but some of them do sell. All right, I'm going to chunk all this. Let's look here. Look very, very carefully because there's another horse. We don't want to throw our silver. Yep, and that horse is stamped 925. Yeah, it definitely paid for the bag, I would say. It's a real, really bad shame, like, that we didn't find the match to this red stone. Oh, yeah. But I have to say, like, this sterling silver ring right here that is broken and missing its main stone. You love the tangled? I think I got a negative review for that. They said that the bag was also tangled. Whatever, lady. Um, so here's a sterling silver horse necklace to go with that earring. Where did it do with it? Is it an earring? I'll put it over here somewhere. Separated. Ew, Longhorns. Let me show y'all what I got here. Um, some feather. Uh-oh. I love these little painted beads. Except I don't think I'm going to keep that one. So there's a tangle little section. Make sure this bangle's not sterling or nothing. Oh, cool. So this is a unique piece here. And I just found the matching earrings. Oh, nope, it's not sterling. But what's cool is they're heavy and they're glass. So we'll look at those. Okay, maybe we could get rid of this chunky thing. Plastic. 
Okay, this is silver. No, it's sticking, but I mean, I, it looks almost silver, but the pearl is totally plastic, so we'll chunk it. This one is not silver. Junk jewelry. Almost done. Then I get to do my challenge, my minimalist challenge. What shall I go through today? Junk jewelry, missing rhinestones. Trying to make sure. You have to be really, really careful. This I always tell you guys, you can always find something sterling hiding up in here. So here's a little daughter is a little girl who grows up to be a friend. Okay. Whatever you say. And this one says CC USA. It's, I think, got that. Okay, all this is junk. Let's see. The tangled up sparrow charm necklace. This is cute. It's actually really cute because it's like flower child. Oh, come on. So cute. Oh, is it like an ankle bracelet? It's really cute. Anywho, that's it for the video. Let me see if I can show you the best finds. All of this is junk. Oh, junk jewelry. Oh, yeah. Do it, Dawn. I actually have a bag to donate glass because we don't get paid for glass in Texas or in my town. I just drop off glass and donate it for free. Uh, like California treasure hustlers, they get paid for their glass, but we don't. Um, so I need to drop off glass soon when I do. Like I'm going to be doing that probably this coming week. I have to drive all the way across town though to donate glass. Um, when I do, I'm going to take all my minimalist stuff. And it is hard, Dawn. Some of the stuff that I've gotten rid of, I could sell, but it's not a high resale value. So to just be stress-free and uh, hoarding-free, right? Um, I'm just going to donate it, too. So glass bottles, um, all different kinds. Liquor bottles that my husband gets through with. Um, pickle jars anything mayonnaise jars anything i can find glass that is from like grocery stuff wine bottles which i don't drink that much i prefer to drink socially with people every once in a while i drink to relieve stress but not very often um so yeah i don't drink too much glass bottles um i'll show you this I honestly don't think this is an expensive maker, but it is heavy and it's glass. Um, I don't know who makes it. So this is really nice. It's got all that amber color. It's brown and amber, I guess. Uh, and I have the matching earrings. It's heavy, heavy, heavy. There's the mailman. Chloe, shush. Yeah, you don't have, we don't have time for $1, $5 there. Even the $10, um, I'm trying to get better, Don. When I play back some of the stuff I used to sell, I'm like, wow, I have grown so much. Okay, um, tab. Oh, this is weird. I didn't show y'all, but this was in there. So it says tab, maybe like for Tabitha. And then it says cat lover. 
There's a horse, a horse lover. And then we got a little flying angel, I guess. Oh, this is Ubery, Ubery. Hey, Tracy. <sighs> so there's that. Um, again, we have this sterling silver ring that's missing something. This almost reminds me of the butterfly ring that had a, the, there's a James Avery ring that has a butterfly. I look, that's not it, of course. Um, this is all the junk jewelry. So that will be listed today. This bag, if anybody saw anything that you're like, wow, she's throwing that in a junk jewelry bag. My, uh, tab, tabby cat lover. I didn't know that. I mean, I like cats, but I'm not a huge cat lover. Um, my eBay link is listed below you guys. So feel free to go bid on it if you're interested. So what did we find today in the jewelry bag? Again, I mean, one sterling silver, red, ruby red earring. Um, got this silver cuff link. It's basic. We did find a sterling silver, uh, it, that's an Italian charm bracelet. Where did I throw it? Which one? <laughs> oh, this one right here. Yeah. In like the stainless steel or the copper, it's like for pain and stuff. Something like that. Maybe. I'll look it up. Probably go auctioning on eBay. I don't know. Um, okay, so those two. We got this third sterling piece. Again, the earring, cuff. What else? This massive pendant that possibly is sterling. It has a lot of vibes of coming off as sterling really bad. But possibly not. But possibly it is. Here it is. Huge. It has a few bent pieces. We got a guess chunky bracelet. I need to figure out if these two chandelier pieces could possibly be crystal. You never know because chandeliers have crystal or crystal, however you say it. I don't know. And we got this glass bead. We have a Brighton tarnished bracelet. Some glass beads. This beautiful car, uh, copper bangle. Cowgirl. I asked Dawn earlier if she was into cowboys or if she's a cowgirl. She didn't answer me. Selling is too much work to sell cheap. Yes, Dawn. Pass it along, donate it, and let's move on to bigger and better things, right? We got the horse necklace that may match to that earring. They kind of look like different makers. Oh, I'll show you my favorite piece, I think. So this is a gemstone necklace, really heavy. I need to figure out what these beads are because they're heavy also and very unique. So we got this one that was marked 39, but the pendant is broke, but they are uh, real rocks. So I like that one. We have our pink quartz, even though some of these don't sell for a lot. We got that real pink quartz. They're super cold. Oh, Tracy, have you seen this symbol? <laughs> You're guessing not. Like what female isn't into cowboys or cowboy butts? Sorry, I had to say it. Let's test this for diamonds. But um, I don't know. The, the flower in the center reminds me of a brand, but I can't think of it. Almost like Kate Spade, but not. You're not into cowboy butts or just cowboys? I'm not into cowboys either, but I do like to. They're the only type of man that I like to look at their butts. You don't know any cowboys or maybe I would. I'm from Texas, so we're saturated in cowboys. <laughs> yes, it's marked. 925 and then like CW or CM. Let's look at the loop. Let's check out my new loop. 
I mean, oh, I do that every time. I blind myself. Oh, you're for sure not into bikers. Okay. So you didn't get into that show. What was that show? Which I don't know why all the women loved that blonde guy because he was okay. It's N25N and then GM. Yeah, that's totally a GM. Or a CM. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> I am. I am for sure not into bikers. <laughs> That's so funny why you would say that, Dawn. <laughs> we went from cowboys to bikers. What other type of man is there? Um, this is my favorite piece here, except I don't know who the maker is. It's a very, very heavy pendant necklace. Oh, I do know who the maker is. I think y'all said just a mall brand. It's Avenue TM. Or whatever the TM stands for. Avenue. But this thing is heavy. And it's long. It would even go with my shirt today. I've been sitting too long. My shirt's all out of whack. This thing is massive heavy. It's like a pound almost. Your hubby is nerds from john cusack <laughs> sons of anarchy yeah you actually did watch it but the guys are not my thing yeah <laughs> i just like a tattoo or two not like all the whole freaking body anyways moving along now <laughs> my hubby is from missouri i don't know what that means misha i don't know what missouri people are like um yeah that's about it guys Oh, we did get two sterling silver chains. Um, those can be hit or miss. So we got two sterling. Well, now I don't know if they're sterling, but two really cool turquoise vintage bracelets. That's about it. Hey, Sandra, I'm going to message you today. I need to look at those chains. So I will message you today. Mystery people. Misery people. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I can't touch my... I need to go wash my hands. Anywho, I need to do some more research on how to test for crystal. Oh, it had a rainbow. Can't you just look at it and see if it's got the rainbow effect in it, you guys? Anybody know? I know, like, crystal glasses, you can rub them and they'll whistle. Or they'll, you know, make that... Who the heck is Ryan Hurst? I don't even know who that is. I'm always like that. Like, I do not know famous people's name unless they're, like, super, super, like, common, common. I don't know. I just don't keep up with it. Yeah, I have your two pieces or two pieces holding for you, and then I'll check our text messages, what you had said. Ryan Hurst. If he's the blonde guy from Sons of Anarchy, he's okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not getting enough sunlight in here to get the glare off of this. So, I don't know. I'll have to look into it. It's not broke anywhere, so that's good. <clears throat> okay, guys, that's a wrap. I'm going to clear all this up and list this jewelry bag on eBay. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the chat box or the drop down box. That's from a chandelier, that glass piece. Oh yeah, yeah, from a chandelier. Yeah, I know. I just don't know if they're real crystal or not. So I'll look into it. They're really nice. Oh, that one's the tip is broke a little bit. Pretty cool. Anyways, no red hair. What? Oh, he's got red hair. I don't know. I have to look him up. <laughs> Toodles. Bye, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.